opposite of a wife is a witch. Now a witch is the dark in the dark kingdom we have witches in God's kingdom we have priests good priests now we have evil priesthood that is uh, witches and the good priesthood is this of the kingdom of God so the office of a wife is also an office of a priest who intercedes and cries to God so that the man can have favor can have grace can be forgiven like Abigail when the husband made a mistake she went and pleaded to David to spare the life of the man so she was operating very well in the office of a wife because she was able to protect her family from destruction so a good woman like that on a proverb 31 makes a vow never to hurt the man in any way because a good wife will always improve protect and preserve the husband and make sure the family increases in every dimension while a witch destroys and reduces what has been put there so the enemy tries to attack the man and the purposes of God through the woman most of the time if you are a woman you should be very careful because the enemy is always looking at how to destroy the purposes of God using a woman this is true from the beginning you see Eve talking to the serpent and misleading Adam and the whole human generation in the Bible we see many other stories of women who have instead of helping the man destroyed the man actually there are more instances of where women destroyed men than they helped the men because the enemy always wants to bring destruction and the choice vessel for the enemy to use most of the time is a woman so be careful as a lady not to be used by the enemy and the attributes of the devil are the ones that evil women have and the attributes of the Holy Spirit are the ones that a good wife has so the God intended them to be a helper the same word helper is also used for the Holy Spirit now Holy Spirit is very powerful and he also helps and empowers us energizes us to achieve the purposes of God and also the Holy Spirit manifests Jesus he doesn't do things for himself but for the glory of Jesus Christ so a good woman must be there to support energize empower multiply brood and grow the vision of a man that is a woman who is operating and flourishing in the office of a wife so the opposite of that is a lady who is has the nature of the enemy so we find that um, one sign of a nature of the devil is rebellion the nature of the enemy is always to fight what God is doing and so you will find that um, a woman who is a witch is operating in the energy and the frequency of uh, the enemy and one of the things the name of the devil is Satan and Satan is a role it is a function it's not necessarily a name but a, a function so Satan means to resist and to oppose so a woman who is not operating like a wife in the life of a man will now begin to oppose everything that he does always resist and always find fault so the, she will become an opposer or a Satan in his life so that is one sign that you married a witch and not a wife and you have a responsibility to speak to her to pray for her to mold her so that she can now begin operating like a wife so you see that um, rebellion is the as the sin of witchcraft in the book of first Samuel chapter 15 verse 23 rebellion breeds witchcraft because rebellion is resisting the plans and the laws of God and resisting order 
being rebellious and refusing to be under control and anytime that people refuse to be under the control of God they rebel and they bring destruction upon themselves any civilization that uh, the ladies refuse to be under the submission of their husbands they began they begin to walk in rebellion what happens is that that civilization begins to go down like the western world the number of births begins to go down the number of happy homes begin to reduce the that is because witchcraft has entered so anytime there is rebellion you have entered into witchcraft so god hates witchcraft god hates rebellion and a woman is created and designed by god to model submission and to teach the children how to walk in the ways of the lord and how to obey the law so a woman who does not want to walk in obedience and in reverence and deference to her husband is operating in a energy of rebellion and witchcraft and what happens in that home is that the children became deviant the probability of a divorce is very high and um, there's no peace in that home anymore because of rebellion and actually most of the battles most of the fights in a home begin from emotional abyss when a woman begins to rebel and does not respect the authority of her man for whatever reason so the enemy is the author of confusion and rebellion but god is a god of order so anytime there is rebellion witchcraft has entered and the purposes of god begin to be thwarted begin to be frustrated so that's a very dangerous sign another sign of our attribute of the enemy is the accuser of brethren the book of revelation chapter 12 verse 10 god says that the work of the enemy has been to accuse uh, in a, you see god intends that the wife to intercede pray and um, 